Stunning admission from the Pentagon that a drone strike in Kabul during those chaotic evacuations from Afghanistan hit civilians instead of ISIS-K members. ABC's White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks is on the North Lawn with that story and the apology. Good morning, Mary Alice. Yeah, good morning, Stephanie. It's been three weeks, but the Pentagon is now unequivocally apologizing for that missile strike in Kabul that left 10 dead, including children. Pentagon officials now calling a U.S. missile strike in Kabul a terrible mistake, concluding it left seven innocent children and three innocent adults dead. Identifying the driver of the car targeted as Zamari Ahmadi, an aid worker who worked for a U.S.-based group. Seen in this surveillance video, officials now acknowledge loading water canisters into the car, not explosives. It was a mistake, and I offer my sincere apology. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin offering his condolences to the family, writing, We know now that there was no connection between Mr. Ahmadi and ISIS Khorasan, and that his activities on that day were completely harmless. It was just three days after a suicide bomber killed 13 American service members and some 170 Afghans at the Kabul airport. Fears and anxiety around the final withdrawal of U.S. troops sky high. And the Pentagon said it had dozens of intelligence reports indicating another imminent attack. So U.S. drones tracking a white car for hours they thought had linked up with ISIS-K, watching the driver load the vehicle, launching that Hellfire missile. In the days after, military officials defending the move. I know it's a righteous strike. A New York Times investigation first calling the strike into question. There were all sorts of factors that went into the poor decision to pull the trigger on this target without properly identifying the person in the car and in the surrounding area. And there are questions now of accountability. The military says it will finish a complete investigation into what went wrong. But this was obviously an intelligence failure after a long line of major intelligence issues out of Afghanistan this summer. Whit. Really an awful scene there as the country moved out of that uh, Afghanistan for two decades of war. Mary Alice, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Now to the humanitarian crisis. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.